Astonishing images on North Korean state TV of Kim Jong-un at the mobile launch site of two ballistic missiles that could someday hit Alaska. The photos show Kim apparently monitoring the launch from a control room. They also show the launch moment by moment as the missile leaves the mobile launch pad and soars into the air. Back in the control room, jubilation. Kim and his entourage cheer. One emotional man even gets a hug from the North Korean leader. This is absolutely crucial domestically for Kim Jong-un's regime. It is absolutely crucial for his legitimacy and his future policies. The U.S. hasn't confirmed the photo's authenticity or when they were taken. But one official tells CNN it does appear to be a launch from a coastal area. U.S. intelligence monitored a launch just along North Korea's eastern coastline. One of the missiles flew 249 miles and reached space before dropping into the Sea of Japan. A major technological step forward. Nations in the region maintaining a high alert. If North Korea carries out provocations, our military should punish them sternly at the very beginning, as we have been trained, and clearly show how much they have to pay. At a summit in Beijing, a North Korean diplomat hailed the news. This means our transportation method has clearly succeeded now, so we are very happy. We are very happy because this means we can now confidently deal with whatever nuclear war U.S. forces. And if you think everybody's going back to the negotiating table, think again. The North Koreans saying, as far as they're concerned, the six-party denuclearization talks are dead for now. Brianna? Barbara, is there any indication that the U.S. could move additional weaponry into the region, maybe there, to send a message to North Korea? There is one very significant indication. Mm -hmm. There are ongoing talks with South Korea about moving in a system called THAAD. What this is are U.S. missiles that could shoot down a North Korean launched missile. But, and it is a huge but, China objects very strongly. China's still very much the big player in that region when it comes to North Korea.